once we define a new game, uh, it's very natural to ask what are the equilibrium concepts in that game. And we are going to do the same exercise with this newly defined game called the Bayesian games. Now, uh, there are two stages as we have discussed. There are uh, ex ante stage where certain decisions are being taken. So uh, we have uh, so far discussed only the utilities in, in this ex ante and ex interim stage of this game. And therefore, when the players are taking the decision, we are also going to call the strategies which has been taken as ex ante strategies and ex, ante, ex interim strategies. So uh, the first thing is the, the usual Nash equilibrium. Uh, so remember that Nash equilibrium in this context, uh, sigma star is, is a mapping. So sigma i is where mappings from this set capital theta i to the, uh, the simplex of uh, ai. So uh, it is uh, de defined on the type of each player. Uh, so before uh, the player is observing its own type, we can define this equilibrium concept of uh, Nash equilibrium, which says, so this definition of uh, uh, utility is nothing but the ex ante utility of those players, of uh, player i. It is saying that uh, if you uh, look at this profile, uh, sigma i star, sigma minus i star, this is going to be a Nash equilibrium uh, with respect to that uh, common prior p. Yeah, if uh, deviating to any other uh, strategy, uh, sigma, uh, sigma i star is not going to be unilaterally, uh, is going to be better for player i. And this should hold for all uh, sigma i primes and for all players i in n. So this is very similar to the, uh, the same Nash equilibrium uh, definition. The only difference being that these utilities are now uh, a, uh, an expectation over all these p thetas. So when we are looking at the ex interim stage, when the players have observed its own type, but it does not know what the types of the other players, what uh, is the type of equilibrium that we can define is known as the Bayesian equilibrium. So what does that mean? So it means that the utility when it is, uh, uh, it is actually uh, uh, choosing the, uh, the strategy, uh, which is uh, sigma i star. So we are still going to call the same sigma star. So uh, notice that in these two stages, ex ante and ex interim, the the sigma i's are not going to change. They are the strategies uh, which is a mapping from their type set to the to this simplex. This is going to be same even in ex ante or ex interim stage. The only difference that happens is whether they can observe their types or not. And uh, in the first case, we are taking when when calculating the utilities, we are taking the expectation with respect to p theta i as well. In the second case, we are not taking that expectation because we know, player i knows deterministically what that theta i is. So this left hand side is essentially that uh, utility when it is choosing the same uh, sigma i star, uh, but it, it is also evaluating it at the same theta i because it now knows the theta i and it can take the expectation with respect to uh, theta minus i given theta i for all the other players uh, and uh, it is not going to be better uh, than the uh, utility when it is deviating to the sigma i prime and again uh, calculating the same uh, utility at theta i. So if this inequality holds, we are going to call this uh, sigma star to be uh, sigma star comma p to be the Bayesian equilibrium. Now what we can uh, what we can say here, we, we are going to make a small remark as we did in the case of uh, uh, the Nash equilibrium, the mixed strategy Nash equilibrium, uh, if you remember, we are going to replace this uh, right hand side with just an utility, uh, just an action, let's say AI prime. And we can uh, say that this inequality holds for all AI prime in capital AI. And one can show that this is necessary and sufficient for this Bayesian equilibrium. So therefore, we can use this also as an, uh, the definition of the Bayesian equilibrium. I am not going to go over the proof. It is exactly similar as the uh, as the proof of uh, the the equivalent definition of uh, mixed strategy Nash equilibrium uh, in the uh, in the normal form game. Uh, so you can just uh, redo. It can be left as an exercise. Now, uh, what we can see here is uh, this the strategies as we have already said it's just a mapping from this the capital theta to uh, to the probability distribution over ai this 
two equilibrium concepts even though they are looked at in two different uh, levels of information for the same player uh, these two equilibrium concepts are actually equivalent when we are looking at the finite bayesian games so here is the theorem that uh, says it formally in finite bayesian games a strategy profile is a bayesian equilibrium if and only if it is a nash equilibrium so that actually demystifies this distinction uh, in fact we can uh, without loss of generality work with any one of this kind of games in the incomplete information setup so let us uh, prove it formally so the first direction is uh, is the direction where we are given a strategy profile to be bayesian equilibrium will have to show that it is a Nash equilibrium. This is rather an easy direction because Bayesian equilibrium is when you have more information. You also observe your own type and you are taking the best response. So you can just write it down. So the we are writing the, uh, the right hand side of the Nash equilibrium definition. So this part here, we are writing it down and uh, we are expanding it with respect to this, uh, the definition. So uh, if we are looking at theta i, uh, the probability that uh, this theta i is picked is p of theta i uh, because we are taking the uh, expectation with respect so this is the x uh, uh, x ante utility of player i when it is choosing uh, theta i prime and inside you have the uh, x interim utility now because this is a bayesian equilibrium we know that this x interim utility is going to be at most the x interim utility under theta i star Therefore, we can write this inequality here. This is by the definition of Bayesian equilibrium. And then you uh, merge this together and you get the x anti utility at uh, sigma i star, sigma minus i star. So, this is the definition of uh, the, the Nash equilibrium in the, in the context of Bayesian game. So, if we have a Bayesian equilibrium, which is sigma star, we know that that is going to be a Nash equilibrium as well. Now the other direction is where, when we are uh, starting with a Nash equilibrium, we'll have to show that that is also a Bayesian equilibrium. Um, as we said, the uh, this is only talking about the strategies and the strategies are just the mapping. So we, we can actually talk about the equivalence of the strategies. Um, uh, what is different in this setup in Nash equilibrium and Bayesian equilibrium is the information about those theta i's. So we are going to prove this uh, reverse direction by, by contradiction. So what we are going to assume, suppose this is not true. Um, what we are trying to prove, if, if a, a profile, a strategy profile is a Nash equilibrium, it must be a Bayesian equilibrium. Rather, we are going to show that if it is not a Bayesian equilibrium, then it will not be a, a, a Nash equilibrium either. So let us uh, do it in, in that direction. So because it is not a, a Bayesian equilibrium, that means uh, we are going to negate the statement of the of the Bayesian equilibrium so that means that there exists some theta i and some a i like this where this inequality is not true so it is it is going in the reverse direction so uh, let us let us say that uh, formally so that means that there exists some uh, type of player i theta i and some action of that player a i such that this inequality is in the reverse direction so this is this is a violation uh, so we cannot say this uh, sigma i star sigma minus i star to be a bayesian equilibrium now uh, because uh, it, it is uh, so because we know that it is not a bayesian equilibrium now we can actually show that this um, uh, sigma star p is not a nash equilibrium as well and we show that in a constructive manner so we construct a strategy uh, sigma i hat for player i in the following way so we know that uh, we have a very distinguished type theta i so for all the types which is not theta i from the same set capital theta i we are going to keep the probability masses and uh, probability distribution to be the same now for this particular type theta i we are going to put all the mass on this specific action for which this inequality holds you can already start seeing what we are trying to do we are actually trying to show that uh, if we put all the masses there, then that must must be violating the condition of uh, Nash equilibrium. And for all the other uh, other actions, uh, which is not equal to AI, that distinguished action, uh, the the probability mass under this uh, strategy uh, strategy of player I, uh, mixed strategy of player I is going to be equal to zero. Some, uh, so now we can start with the uh, the X 
and the uh, utility of player i under this strategy uh, sigma i hat and sigma minus i star. So we know that this is this can be written in, in the following way. Now what we know is we can actually uh, decouple it into two parts. So in this from this set pick out this theta i and write write that separately. So this is this is just the that specific term separately written for all the other things. For all the other things we know that theta i hat there is no difference between uh, theta i hat and theta i star because that's the way we have defined it for all the other types for all the types that is living in this set this is going to be the same as theta i star so we can as well replace this for this particular type we actually know that this is going to be strictly larger than the the utility at sigma uh, uh, sigma i star theta i theta minus i because that's the way we have constructed it uh, in particular, if you look at this, how uh, can you write it? It, it is uh, only one at AI, that specific AI where you have this inequality. For every other place, it's zero. So therefore, uh, because of this fact that uh, at that AI, it is strictly greater than the utility, um, uh, utility under that theta i star, you can have this strict inequality here. So therefore, putting everything together, you have this thing. Uh, strictly greater than uh, strictly greater than this this quantity so actually you can replace this with just sigma i star and that is nothing but the the x anti utility when player i's have this strategy of theta i star theta minus i star and therefore this uh, strategy profile cannot be a nash equilibrium we already uh, constructively shown another uh, uh, strategy for player i which is unilaterally better for player i so we have actually proved both this direction so this uh, so we have first shown that if it is a uh, nash equilibrium uh, if it is a bayesian equilibrium then it uh, must be a nash equilibrium if it is a uh, uh, if it is a nash equilibrium then it, it is also a bayesian equilibrium let us now look at the existence of bayesian equilibrium the bayesian equilibrium is guaranteed to exist for every finite uh, bayesian game and the argument is very similar uh, to the uh, to the arguments that we have done in the case of uh, existence of Nash equilibrium. So what? Uh, uh, so we are not going to prove it formally. The the proof I'll uh, rather post an addendum which does uh, a, a transformation. The idea of the proof is that we are going to transform because it's finite. We can transform this Bayesian game into a a, a finite uh, normal form game. Uh, the difference being that you have the players as the types themselves. So even though there are, uh, let's say, uh, for uh, a specific player, uh, uh, player one, there were three types. Let's say theta one one, theta one two, and theta one three. We are going to treat in this transformed game each of these uh, uh, types as one individual player, and uh, those players will have the same utility which is equal to the utility at that type for that player right so you can actually expand this uh, uh, the space uh, we are going to blow up the uh, the number of players in this way but the point is that uh, in that game uh, we can show that that game is a finite game action space and also the number of players are all finite and in particular once you look at the strategies the uh, the, uh, the utilities there that utility can be actually uh, shown to be equal to the utility of this Bayesian game when the type is actually theta 1 1 for that player. So uh, please take a look at that addendum and uh, you can see that there is a transformation uh, which is possible and because we know in, in finite, uh, uh, finite normal form games uh, by Nash theorem and the mixed strategy Nash equilibrium exists that mixed strategy Nash equilibrium will be the, the Bayesian equilibrium uh, when we look at this game uh, where these uh, types are theta 1 1. So that uh, essentially proves the fact that Bayesian game uh, we can actually have a, a Bayesian equilibrium for every finite Bayesian game.